Yo, what is up, guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to this episode of the ZTE ZMAX 2 Speed Comparison versus the ASUS Zenfone 2E. Just got this one not too long ago, a few days ago. Uh, unboxing one up yesterday. And uh, let's just see what phone is quicker. So which phone is going to run circles around the other? Now you may be saying, hmm, I'm in the store right now. I don't know which device to get. And uh, this one's only 79 bucks, but this one's 55. You know, I'm gonna take my 20 and go get a cheeseburger or something. You know, I, I don't really wanna spend that extra 20 when I get this the smartphone right here. But let's see which one's quicker. Let's start off with the boot up test. Three and two and one, let's go. And it looks like ZTE is popping up first, but we're gonna see which one truly takes the crown here. And uh, I know a lot of y'all on the channel love the ZTE Z Max 2. You love the review, but you really love the phone more than anything. But, um, you know, some people still will choose this over this. It's just inevitable. Not everybody has the same cup of tea. Now, personally, I would take the ZTE Z Max 2 all day, every day. But that's just my personal opinion. And I think a lot of people are on that side of the fence. But some people, like I say, are going to take their extra 20 and head over to get some Chipotle. No, not a cheeseburger. We eat healthy over here. We're going to go get some Chipotle and get some guacamole all, all over that bowl. So while these babies are booting up, let's uh, see which one gets there quicker. And first is the ZTE Z Max 2. So only by a second or two. So basically, you can see that the ZTE Z Max 2 wins it on the boot up speed. Now, what about the... Um, you know, time to get into the lock screen. So let's just see which one gets into the operating system from the time you hit the power button first. So three, two, one. As you can see, that was about even. So no big issue there. So uh, let's see, uh, let's do a couple app, you know, see which one's open quicker. And uh, let me make sure that animations are off on the ZTE Z Max 2 because I do tweak the developer options here as we showed in how to make your Android faster. You can go check that out video out if you want. And, uh, we're getting a lot of things loading up here. So if during the video you see like a ton of YouTube notifications or something come in, they're old ones. But if you uh, you see that, just never mind those. So let's go into calculator in three, two, one. And it looks like that was about even. Let's go back home. Now I do want to note that my ZTE Z Max 2 is very quick, but when it boots up from a cold boot, it needs to get, you know, you know, like warmed up basically. And once it gets warmed up, it just flies. But as you can see overall, the speed on the ZTE Z Max 2 is pretty fast. And then on the Z Zenfone 2, just the general UI is pretty quick overall. It's not you're going to blow your socks off, but the ZTE Z Max 2 does have a quicker UI overall. And yes, I'm running the Google Now launcher here. But uh, the Asus Zenfone 2's launcher is not a stock launcher either. You can also put that launcher on from the Play Store. So it's pretty fair because this is a customized launcher anyway. It's not like it's Google versus Google. So... Let's go into settings and see which one opens settings quicker. I don't know if we did that one already. Let's do it real quick. Three, two, one. And it looks like the ZTE Z Max won that one. Let's see which one goes back into an app quicker. And uh, I noticed the scrolling speed is a bit, bit choppy here on the uh, Asus Zenfone 2E, but not here on the Z Max 2. So basically, let's see which one can open back up that calculator first. And that was about the same. Uh, they both go back home about the same. But like I say, I've been noticing that the Asus Zenfone 2e has some general sluggishness. Uh, we'll talk more about that in the review. But it doesn't always perform up to par. Whereas the ZTE Z Max 2 seems seemingly always performs like a champ all day, every day. And uh, rarely hiccups at all. And that's probably due to its 2 gigabytes of RAM. I'm pretty sure that's what it's due to. Uh, 3, 2, 1 on the clock. And as you can see, ZTE Z Max 2 won that one again. Now let's just go do a quick browser test to see which one can open up a web page quicker. So even though I tapped the Asus and phone, ZTE is already, you know, loading up the page quicker. But let's go ahead and go to an ad traditional website. Let's go to technobuffalo.com. Let's load that up. That should be right there. Let's go here, load that up. That should be right there in three, two, one. Let's see who shows content first. So the ZTZ, or the ASUS is showing content first, but it looks like 
Let's see who's finished. The ZTE finished it first. So even though they showed content over here first on the ASUS, the ZTE is showing the content, or finished the page first, and it's actually still loading over here. And it's a little more choppy, I'm noticing, over here on the ASUS Zenfone 2E. But basically, let's end this video right here. Just want to show you that, yes, while this phone may seemingly perform okay, um, side by side, the ZTE Z Max 2 is the all-around better performer, from my experience, owning both of the phones. But uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos. And uh, if you were to ask me right now which phone I would take, it's going to be the ZTE Z Max 2. But uh, don't let that sway you. We are going to do a full review over here if you are really interested in Asus Zenfone 2E. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be well and peace.